it's Megan welcome back to my channel today's video is another unboxing um, I really I think I know what this is but it's bigger than I remembered it being online so um, yeah I'm pretty sure it's a special diamond diamond painting so let's crack it open and see what it is <clears throat> these scissors are like the worst they're my kitchen scissors. I turn them into my kitchen scissors because they're just so dull. Even though, I, I mean, I tried sharpening them. Don't even get me started. <laughs> okay, whoa. All right, there's the box. <clears throat> Diamond painting private custom. Hmm. Down. Let's see. Oh, I think I know what it is. It is special diamonds. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Come on, I know you're in there. There you are. Okay. Hang on, I just. <laughs> and is it empty? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So it came with a little toolkit, like all diamond paintings come with. This one came with a white, small, a small white funnel tray. Um, it's got this little spout there. Two rectangles of pink wax. I got um, flexible tweezers that aren't very good for this craft. <laughs> and, <clears throat> ooh, okay. So it's a clear pen, not a pink pen, a clear pen with a blue squishy grip. And the clear has like a sparkle to it. I don't know if you can tell on, um, on camera, but you c it has like a sparkle to it. Um, and then it has a three drill tip at that end. And then I also got a nine drill tip to go along with it in case I wanted to switch them out. I could do that. <clears throat> I actually started using my nine drill tip again. I, I stayed away from it for a while and, um, <clears throat> because I had a lot of a lot of color to lay and so I was like, well, I'm just going to I'm just going to try it again because I put it down since I first started using it because I didn't like the result, but I think it was user error cuz <laughs> I have to be more aware of where the drills are being actually laid, you know, when they're in that um that line. Okay. So we'll look at the drills in a minute. But let's look at the canvas. Let's see what it is. It's on a, a styrofoam tube. All right. So this is this is special diamonds, but this is the largest special diamond painting I've ever done. Um, so I'm just preparing myself a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so it's a man, Ooh. okay, there you go. Um, it's like a mandala, but it's off center. Let me try to roll it this way and see if I can, I just use the tube um, that it came with and I roll it the opposite way gives me a good starting point and I just kind of go around and then hopefully there we go okay so this has some creases in it but um it's a mandala that's off center so 
it's the middle. So it could be like this, or if you wanted to, I mean, you could hang it, you know, whatever way you wanted it to. I kind of like it like this, um, or like this even. I dig off-center stuff, so, you know, when I, I dabbled a little bit in um, photography, and I really like the... Um, Playing with focus and um, which obviously a lot of photographers like but also like um, as asymmetry so like when things aren't exactly in the middle of this of the screen I like that okay so <clears throat> like I said this is these are all special diamonds too so this is supposed to be a 40 by uh, actually a 50 by 50 um, I don't have my, oh yeah, I do have my tape measure. I want to measure how big the actual painted on canvas is. <laughs> don't mind my chapstick rolling in the frame. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay, I got my old fashioned, my old tiny one here. As my kids would say in preschool, my old, your old tiny, old tiny car, old tiny. <laughs> All right, so, no, yeah, okay, so it's a 40, it's like a little more, it's like a 43 centimeter, like in two millimeters, so like, well, let me flatten it out, hang on, maybe it wasn't flat all the way. So it's like 40, I'd call it 43. So it's 43 by, sorry, that took me like forever to decide. <laughs> 43 and a half. So I would call it 40, 43 by 40. If you don't mind cutting off a little bit over here um, <clears throat> with this one, because this over here is just paint. Oh, I didn't tell you that yet, but I will. Um, you could cut this off. So this is a special diamond partial painting. So um, like all of this stuff is painted on. Um, there's no glue here. So the glued places are all where you see a symbol. So I'm gonna, I'll bring you down to see closer to the canvas here. Um, so the glue is everywhere you see a symbol. <clears throat> but it's not the whole entire thing. So it's not a full drill, it's a partial. There's the middle. back. <clears throat> Hope I don't mess this up. Sometimes I push buttons when I do this. Okay. I'm sorry if that was loud. Um, okay, so this part is sticky here. This part's not sticky. So the symbols look really clear. I love special diamond paintings, special diamond diamond paintings because um, the symbols are so easy to see. Actually, <laughs> they're easy to see, but sometimes I miss a section of them So, because I'll, I'll think it's like just the, the pat, part of the actual pattern of the mandala until I like pull it back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I missed that whole entire section right there because you just switch so much and it's just such a variation of different shapes and sizes and colors. Um, yeah, this is like, hang on a second here. This is like, I can't even flatten that out. Okay. All right, so we're going to look at the drills next. And actually, this cover, this clear plastic sheet, I don't know if you can hear it, hear the difference, but like this is not the, the this is thicker plastic sheeting. Um... It has a different weight to it. 
usually it's so yeah that's pretty cool I've never felt plas a plastic cover like that before <clears throat> all right so we said it's like a 43 by 43 so you take seven centimeters off of the um, measurement there and I'm gonna flip it on over so we can check out the drills. Okay, so this tells you the code of the painting, DA0096, which corresponds to the number on the canvas, DA0096. So that's good in case you were to ever misplace you know, separate the, the drills from the painting. Even this, you know, I, even this feels, it's thicker. It's a better quality. A better quality. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, it says on here, butterfly, fang, industry, and trade. That's what it says going along the bags here. It just feels better. Like, even these bags feel better. Okay. Anyway, so we should have 11 different special diamonds. And it looks like we have 11 bags. So, that's good. And it looks like they were all pretty much together. You know? even these are special um, <clears throat> I, if I can tear them mm, see the bags even like too thick to tear <laughs> oh, it's funny it's just like good quality good quality plastic I like it It doesn't feel like they're gonna disintegrate in two seconds, you know what I mean? <laughs> disintegrate in two seconds, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> so I've organized them and um, put you on the table. So let's take a look at these special diamonds. So these are number one, they're the yellow rhinestones. Number two is this blue color, vibrant, beautiful blue color. Yeah, I have, I think I have a lot of those. <laughs> the number threes are different. They're larger, I'll show you them side by side. So here's number three, here's number two. See how small they are in comparison to each other? So these ones are much larger. And they are a pretty turquoise color. Okay. I thought I would try to take advantage of the sunshine coming in the window, but I think it's sort of making it a little harder to see. I don't know. Um, okay, so these are... Um, rhinestone green like emerald rhinestone diamonds number five are red like a true red color number six is another rhinestone regular size rhinestone they're like a, it's like a light yellow or like a light gold color. Um, actually, I'm going to try to see if I can measure these ones. Ugh, this measuring tape is so old. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting at the, the one centimeter mark. So I, I get, I mean, it's about, uh, it's largest, 
I'd say it's four millimeters. So these are four millimeters. And these are three millimeters. Wow. So there's just a millimeter difference between those. That seems like it's, it would be more than that. But anyway, these are, number seven is like a, a lighter green rhinestone, kind of like a leaf green. Ooh, these are neat. These are what I call disco balls. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> There's two bags of these bad boys, so I'm excited about that because I love these ones. These are beautiful. I've had bigger. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've had bigger disco balls before, um, but I love the colors. I like, I just, I'm so drawn to that iridescence. I like that. And then number nine is not round anymore. So all of these were all round and now we're getting into the marquee shape. So these are clear. They're clear marquee. There you go. Clear marquee. We got more round, but they're larger. They're the same size as the disco balls, but they're red. And then last but not least, we got another red. Ooh. I don't know what shape this is. Oval, I guess, right? Oval red. Kind of like rubies. Just gorgeous. But not very many of those, so I don't know. All right, so there are the 11 colors. I ha I was supposed to have 11, I have 11. I got my tool kit, I got my canvas. Um, I'll give you guys another look at it in case you wanted to. Um, also, if you're not a member of our Facebook Diamond Painting Group page, um, you're welcome to join. Um, it, the link is in the description below the video. It is a closed group, so I just ask you a couple questions first before, but everyone's welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. And with all those colors, so this seems very, sorry, I'm like scatterbrained today. Um, this seems very sort of old worldy to me, like in terms of the color palette. But we just saw all these drills, and I have a feeling that this background here is just going to make the drills pop. And I'm excited to see what it is, what it looks like when it's done. And the symbol for those disco balls, I think it was number eight, is H. So all that's going to be disco ball. All those H's you see. Oh my gosh, all around here. Wow, this is going to be tricky to do. I mean, it's pretty mucked up. Like, you know how I call the a mixed up drill field a mucked up drill field? Um, it's just very mucky. Look at all the mix of stuff. <laughs> so it'll take a minute. It's kind of like a, like a eye puzzle, you know? I mean, that's complicated. Whoa. <laughs> So, yeah, anyway. Um, so here it is. Again, it's a partial special diamond, diamond painting. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this diamond painting, the link to it is in the description below the video as well. And if you're interested in getting notified when I upload new videos, you can click subscribe and then hit the bell icon, and that will notify you when I upload new stuff. Okay? So... I want to get started, <laughs> but I have so many other things I have to, so many other projects that, and, you know, whips and stuff. So anyway, until next time, you guys, keep diamond painting.